Good morning, happy Monday, we made it again. I am getting ready to pull out of my driveway. It is 6.30 and I have a little bit of a voice, <clears throat> which is really good because Saturday all day I had none. Um, yesterday I sounded about like this. So always interesting um, doing this job voiceless. <laughs> kind of like a painter without a brush and paint and a ladder. But anyway, um, heading into school, I think I already said it was 6.30, still is. <coughs> um, I have some stuff that I did this weekend that I will show you. Um, one of the things I did was my idea and it's up right now on Teachers Pay Teachers and I'm super excited about it. It is a, um, goals tracking system thing and goals I used the letters to make an acronym for gauging our academic learning successes I was super excited I thought it just made a lot of sense I put a um, success criteria I had a trouble saying that fast the other day anyway made a success criteria um, poster that goes with the goals letters and um, I will show you kind of how I intend to use it in my classroom um, I'm really excited I feel like it's very kid friendly and it will really work for all the goal setting and things that we have to do. Now I say goal setting like it's something silly. It's not, it's very much not silly. Need to set goals in order to achieve them, right? But for third graders, for eight year olds, it can't be the same as it is for high schoolers. And so I've struggled through the years to um, make it mean something to them because they will do whatever I ask of them, but that doesn't always mean that it's making sense to them. And goal setting is a skill that if they learn it young and they learn to apply it to all areas of their life, it will serve them well. So I am itchy. Um, I will show you that. <clears throat> either today or another day this week. Um, and what else? Oh, I bought a Jenga game that is so cool. Um, I bought the Jenga actual game, but it's not Jenga. It's just an off brand with rainbow color um, wooden blocks. And I bought a game on Teachers Pay Teachers to put out at a math center. And I love it and I can't wait. I'm excited for the kids to love it. What else did I do? I made my center rotations for um, ELA, didn't do math. I was going to try, but it was 1030. And I thought, no, 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 I'm not. So I didn't, and I was glad. I am gonna head to work right now, and I will catch up with you later. Hello, I'm in my room. It is 7.35. I have five minutes to get my life together, um, which isn't nearly enough time, but I'm gonna try. No, I'm ready, but I wanted to show you really quickly what I made. Okay, so these are my goals posters that I made. Um, you can see that they're like three quarters of the sheet, and I'm gonna put magnets on them. G gauging O our A academic L learning S successes. So I have them in my Teachers Pay Teacher store and they're in all different color sets. You can mix and match, do whatever you want. And then I have a few different versions of this, but this is the one I'm going to use. I'm just going to dry erase right on it. Um, I laminated about, I think I did about six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. That's a weird number. And I'm just going to write the standard we're working on. The kids and I will come up with together how will we know when we know it. For example, if it's multiplying... Uh, digits through five. How will we know when we know it? When we can successfully show a group of each and represent the total um, in all, 
something to that effect. So when we do things like this together, I just feel like the student buy-in is so much higher and they are in charge of their learning and I just, I really love it. I'll let you know how it works. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I am leaving three minutes late. It is 6.33, um, but that's okay. <sighs> um, I am gonna try to stop for coffee this morning, my for roofie. I'm gonna probably go to Dunkin' again and get my butter pecan, it's now my butter pecan. Anyway, it was really good and I just really feel like I need a treat today. <clears throat> Still having voice issues, but the bigger thing going on today is that I'm getting not one, but two, two new kids. So that's always a bit stressful. Um, hope all is well. I'm now up to 28, which is too many. I'm just gonna say it, it's way too many. I know there are teachers out there that have 30 and 35. That's crazy. Um, when I think of how much time I can devote to each student and I'm carving out 1 28th of a time to see a child, it's nuts. So I'm done complaining about that. Probably I'm not, but I am right now. Anyway, it is the system in which we work. I'm heading out and um, I made the two new kiddos their <clears throat> like their uh, crate name tags and their job tags laminated and made those last night and their mailbox tags and when I get to school I have to make their gumballs and their make sure their ping pong ball numbers are in our um, fishbowl, my ping pong ball, draw your number thing. And I mean, I have a new student checklist that I made. I'll put it here. Maybe, maybe. Um, it's just one I made, but if you're interested in making one, maybe mine will help you. Um, anyway, new students are, um, there's a lot to do. So I have to also find out, you know, things like how they get home, who takes care of them, what's their story, where did they come from, that kind of stuff. So a little bit of stress, but you know what? We're a family, it'll work out, it's fine. Anyway, headed to work, headed to the coffee, then the work. So I will talk to you later. Good morning. We have made it to Wednesday. I am leaving a little bit late. It is about 6.40 right now. Um, not feeling great today. It's the voice thing and I have a bad headache. But other than that, we're rocking and rolling. Um, <clears throat> anyway, not really sure what we're doing today, I don't mean teaching wise, I mean for our um, early release for our PD. I think we get time to work, but again, I'm not sure. If I was supposed to sign up for something, that will be a surprise to um, myself when I get to work. I don't think I have to, but anyway, I'll figure it out when I get there. Had a meeting <clears throat> yesterday, <clears throat> sorry and it was over um, teams so it was online so that went well um, <clears throat> that was an IEP meeting I have another one in a week I don't think I have any more meetings this week um, I can't believe Wednesday's already here but yet I'm shocked it's not Friday um, so anyway I am gonna head in I don't think I have anything new really to show you at work unless I forgot something. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a wreck today. I don't think I have anything new to share, but 
if I do, I will share when I get there. But I will, um, I've said but like six times now. That's just not acceptable. I will share the rounding craftivity. They turned out pretty cute. Not all kids are done yet. We had a situation on Monday where um, my partner had to leave work. I'm trying to get the sun <laughs> covered here. Um, she had to leave work and so we took her class and we split it up. Um, so we didn't have our math time same as normal. We didn't do math. We watched Helen Keller, um, which is an amazing, um, a miracle worker. We didn't watch the whole thing, but we watched about 45 minutes of it, 50 minutes of it. Um, so we're a day behind on math. Not really. We kind of smushed a bunch in yesterday. But as far as the craftivities go, we did not pull those out at all this week yet. So still have some kids that are finishing those. Um, I've had <clears throat> several kids who have been in quarantine and so they have, um, they're at various stages of done. So the whole class is not done, but majority is. Anyway, I'll show you that when I get to school. Bye. Made it in <clears throat> to my classroom. I just want to show you really quick some of the completed rounding craftivities. They're very cute. All right, so... I'm gonna try to cover up names. So here's what they look like. We have the mountain in the middle, the roundup. Um, oh, I'm noticing that, uh, no, she did it correctly. Round down, round up, sorry, my bad. And then <clears throat> the little girl in the middle. And then these, they had to fill in what the number would round to, and then the little person is at the top of the mountain. So here are some of them hung up. They're not all hung up yet, but those are the ones I had as of a few days ago. So they're really cool. Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. Um, I'm gonna be short. I am short all the time, but I'm gonna be short, especially because I can't talk. So. Yesterday was awesome because we had time to work. So I got some parent um, emailing done. I got some um, grades entered in. I got some cleaning done, which was nice because there was a couple, just not big things, but a couple things that needed a little extra something, something. Anyway, this morning, my goal is survival. I have coffee that is ice cold. Right now my throat is really swollen up. Um, the punching bag thing is really swollen up from sleeping with my mouth open. So anyway, I hope that your Thursday is great. I just might have spit a little bit. Hope your Thursday's great. Mine is going to be, by gosh, it's gonna be great. Um, nothing exciting going on school-wise, just our normal, regular daily things that we're doing. Um, if I feel better later, I might show you some things, but I don't really have that much to show. So, probably won't, but I will see you when I see you next. Bye. Good morning and happy Friday. Um, no voice. Going in, one of my, um immediate co-workers um, has family in the hospital right now so um, no subs can't call in um, I mean I can but what would be the point so going to work um, I'm just gonna try to get through this day so I'm gonna quit talking cuz it hurts <laughs> and I will catch up with you hopefully over the weekend Was that so good? 
ਵਜਾਈ ਜਾਵੇ